Yes sir, yes sir. What's going on y'all? Soul here and welcome back to my story mode. So you've seen the title and you've seen the thumbnail. I have got a prime time ramble for you guys today. Check this out. So earlier today, I was looking around for something to eat. I was feeling a little hungry in the stomach, you know what I'm saying? And I decided to put on Sonic X because I haven't watched that series in a very long time. And you know, it's a nice Saturday morning. So I decided, hey, what's better than watching a Saturday morning cartoon on a Saturday morning? So I decided to put that sucker on. And man, I forgot how much I used to love this series. I remember watching Sonic X religiously back in my younger days. I was watching that all the time and it's because of Sonic X that when it comes to the Sonic characters, those are the voices that I associate the heaviest with the franchise. Now, of course, there's other games and stuff like that that help solidify that those characters and the voices for me, but I am mostly attached to whatever came out of Sonic X, right? So I was always attached to Jason Griffith. I was always, atta uh, always attached to uh, Dan Green as a character, you know? And it's just very nostalgic series for me, okay? And thinking back on it, it definitely had a lot of ups and downs, but in my personal opinion, I think of, especially of the modern Sonic cartoons that we've had in recent years, it's still the best. Now, of course, that's completely subjective and you can absolutely disagree with me. Maybe your favorite is Sonic Sadam, maybe it's Sonic Underground, maybe it's Prime, maybe it's Boom. But in my personal opinion, at least of the more recent years of Sonic cartoons, Sonic X was the one that took the franchise most seriously. Or at least, you know, they felt like they paid heavier attention to the characters and, you know, to their personalities and to their worlds, respectively. I mean, I look at something like Sonic Prime and watching Sonic Prime legitimately, I, I can't put this any lighter, low-key pissed me off. <laughs> like, Sonic was just an annoying version of himself in that series, okay? And the creators had the nerve to say, oh, this is a canon series. This is integrated with the actual, you know, the entirety of the franchise. No, it's not. No, it's not. Because if it was, you would know that Sonic has a lot more friends than, you know, the ones that were showcased in the series, and that Sonic isn't an idiot, and that he could put things together himself sometimes. He's not that brainless. He's also not that annoying. Maybe once upon a time he was a little more cocky, but to dumb him down solely for the sake of mild character development, it wasn't even really worth it, because it didn't really feel like he developed all that much anyway. Throughout all of the final season, he was doing the same thing on repeat, because he just, he it wouldn't get through his head. That was not Sonic to me, and I just, I, I can't get past that, right? And then of course you have Sonic Boom, where those characters are shells of themselves, essentially. Now of course, I, I will admit, Sonic Boom is funny, okay? It definitely has its moments, mostly in the comedic arena. Take out the Sonic characters, replace them with completely original characters, and maybe some more original jokes that aren't, you know, pertain to the Sonic franchise, because you could absolutely switch some of that stuff around, and you've got a regular schmegular show. Like, it just, I don't know, it's so detached from the series to me that I barely even think about it anymore. Now, going back to Sonic X, it definitely, again, has a lot of ups and downs, especially in the earlier seasons. Getting to know Chris, he was a very, very annoying kid. And then, you know, the way they handled the humans, especially very early on, I, I was, you know, you, you're kind of whatever about, it, okay? However, when I was watching it earlier this morning, I did so happen to watch the episode where Sonic took Helen to this island to see these field of flowers that her dad had promised to take her to for a long time and never got the chance to because she was he was always working so hard. And so Sonic took it upon himself to take her there. But of course, the series, or the episode itself revolved around the president's uh, rather, actually the president's, like, assistant trying to get him to come to the president's party so that they could make the president look good. Now, of course, like, it's plot, whatever, but I think that was a very cute episode, and it reminded me, like, okay, you know what? I appreciate the hell out of Sonic X because one thing it didn't really ever do was destroy Sonic's character to a detrimental amount to the point where he was unrecognizable, and that's kind of what both Boom and Prime did to that character for me. Okay. Now, of course, again, Sonic Underground did great, okay, from what I remember, but that was definitely like, you know, for a much younger audience, <laughs> okay? And then Sonic Sad Am, I haven't seen in forever, but we're not gonna go into that. The point is, looking at Sonic X makes me hope and wish for a new Sonic series or Sonic anime or 2D animated series or something along these lines that 
really just gives us some actual, true, genuine, to the heart stories. Sonic X at the beginning utilized that first like season, the first like quarter of the series to really just introduce the characters to maybe people that are unfamiliar and then getting to know that version of Earth that we didn't know as well and then utilizing that version of Earth to recreate the stories of both Sonic Adventure 2. I think it recreated Sonic Adventure 1. I could be completely wrong on that. Maybe they, I don't think, maybe they didn't. I don't know. It's been a very long time. I don't think that they did. But regardless, they decided to recreate the storytelling of Sonic Adventure 2 while also utilizing that writing to create their own story with the meta and the space adventure and stuff like that and it actually turned out really interesting and then it kind of just ended after that like what right when they hit their their prime you know and that sucks but I, I guess they just needed it to end and I think about that a lot and I think like wow like oh I, I want I, I need another original Sonic series to tell a story to actually go out of its way to tell a story i was thinking about the era that we're in with sonic right now and i have no doubt in my mind that we're in a much better place with sonic specifically because ever since sonic frontiers it feels like they have been locking in very heavily with what the people want okay we got sonic frontiers and i've been playing through that recently and i'm working on a bigger video for that but long story short sonic frontiers felt like an answer right it felt like an answer we haven't seen any of sonic's friends in ages they're pre some of them are prevalent in this game we haven't had a real deep story that's connected to the actual lore to the of, of the series we got that in abundance we wanted an opener zone you know sonic game we wanted some actual combat they attempted to give that to us of course they tried to do a lot in terms of answering so it didn't turn out as perfect as we would have wanted it to especially in the later half of the game and you know given time constraints they could only do so much but it was an answer okay and then that's been continuing on for a while we've been wanting to see more sonic friends yada 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 we haven't seen shadow in a while where's he been guess what we have a whole year dedicated to shadow an entire movie dedicated to shadow we have an entire game getting recreated for shadow and it's great it's great they're utilizing all this time to really listen to us and give us things that we want and they're really paying attention so now i think well one thing that we have been asking for for a very very long time is a true animated 2d sonic series okay a sonic series that actually has plot actually has characters possibly some development okay and i say characters but obviously like the entirety of the sonic cast in their actual their actual selves and possibly an original plot because they have proven us that they are capable of doing that they are capable of telling stories they are capable of utilizing these characters to their fullest on top of that they don't shy away from the animation side of things at all we literally got that one animation or no we've been getting we've always gotten animations for like re-releases or for new games and things like that as like prequels before we get the game right sonic colors ultimate had its little mini series sonic what is it origins had its little mini series sonic i think sonic mania had one too correct uh sonic frontiers had its prologue the divergence prologue which was one of the most beautifully animated things i have ever seen in my life and later this year we're getting the dark beginning for shadow and that that makes me just Mwah. like I, I i i'm loving what the team is doing right now getting these well-known animators and things like that to put together something really really special for sonic fans is the most considerate and lovable thing you can do for a fan base because my god does that look good and then you look at this origin story that we're about to get for shadow you look at divergence and animations like that and you think dude when they want to cook they can cook and i think one of the best things that they could do is to get started working on a 2d sonic series and i feel like that's not too much of an ask and not something that's too far out of their way either something tells me that they're probably trying to work on something like that and of course you know that's something that's going to take a lot of time a lot of money and a lot of patience especially if they want to get the story right <laughs> Oh my god and with that i just really really hope that they lock in and do something like that because i really want to see more actual genuine stories that take these characters seriously that takes their world seriously because sonic going around and saying oh no green hill 
Green Hill, Green Hill this, Green Hill that, my friends this, my friends that. Just repeating that for episodes on end is exhausting. He has a brain? Let him use it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all were so bold with that. Goodness me. Sonic Frontiers proves that you guys have the potential to utilize these characters in a very serious setting, and I want to see that utilized in a Sonic series that could push the series forward, okay? And utilizes the animation style of these very, very talented artists to make awesome fights, very epic moments, dramatic shots, hell, recreate some IDW stuff, alright? I would love to see an IDW animated series, why not? They have so many different characters involved in that. They have a world, they're utilizing Mobius properly in the IDW. They have so many different versions of, or they have so many different like arcs and things like that that they could utilize and so many different characters that make their way into the series. Like they, they could make that run forever. I would love to see something like that. I haven't read as much as IDW as I would have wanted to, but from the little bit that I've seen, it really, it takes the character seriously because, I, I mean, I guess we're gonna say it, Ian Flynn knows these characters, whether you want to admit that to yourself or not, Ian Flynn knows these characters and knows how to write these characters, get mad about it if you want, but he does. And I think me more than anybody would absolutely trust that man with an actual series, okay? Prime wasn't, I think Ian was a little involved, but not as much as he wanted to be. As far as I'm concerned, Man of Action, whatever that dude, whoever that dude that directed it is, crap the bed, all right? I, we've seen his work, we've seen him on Ben 10 and things like that, but he obviously, or, or yeah, I guess he obviously did not understand Sonic as a franchise. He took the bare, like the bare bones minimum of these characters and just, threw it at a screen, just threw stuff at a wall to see what works for a plot. And it didn't, it really didn't. Man of Action, whoever is responsible for how these characters were written, did not understand the assignment whatsoever. Except Shadow, for some reason. Shadow was the greatest, that was one of the best iterations of Shadow ever. Ridiculous, by the way, regardless. <laughs> I want a Sonic series with the animation style of Divergence, a storytelling, that is as serious and you know as dedicated as either the idw comics or even the metarex arc of sonic x because that was a completely new and original storyline that i feel like nobody talks about anymore and it was actually really interesting they actually kind of cooked they were doing something with that okay and that is something i would love to see more of something of that energy something of that style okay i want to see epic fights sometimes in anime style whatever I, I don't care what has to happen there's a lot of talented artists out there that would love to get their hands on this franchise to be able to cook a real series to actually do something with these characters that we haven't seen before and there's always going to be so much potential that it's astounding that it hasn't been really truly tapped into yet but i think that we are finally reaching that era that we can justifiably do something with these characters in a series with and i really look forward to the day that we finally really truly tap into that potential because it is going to be just absolutely splendid again we're not too far off all right the dark beginnings is going to show us something crazy and i know that if we if me and you are feral enough about the possibility of a true 24 like four five season series we'll get it we'll get it because they're finally listening they said, you know what? We've been trying to do too, something different for too long. What do they want? Let's let's do let's utilize the, to the best of our knowledge what we know of these characters and give them what they want. Let's let's be cool again. And I feel like we can finally get that. I don't think we're gonna get another Sonic Prime next time we get another Sonic animated series. Cause you know we're gonna get another animated Sonic series. That's inevitable. But how they do it, I think is gonna very much change how we see this franchise. Okay, it's probably gonna bring in a lot of newcomers too. So we'll see what happens there. But with that, I think I've yapped on enough. Just wanted to just kind of throw that at you guys because I was really thinking hard about that while I was, you know, I literally, I was watching Sonic X, I got up and I was like, I just had like a slew of ideas for videos, but this one I just, I needed to make right now. Like I just had to do this. So, you know, forgive me for just kind of rambling on and just yammering on, but I really wanted to talk about this, and I'm sure that there's a lot of you guys that want to talk about this too. So, you already know what I'm about to say next. 
that about does it for me but i'm passing the mic over to you guys and i want you guys to tell me everything that you guys are thinking in the comment section below do you think that i'm on to something do you think that we're probably going to be seeing a real 2d true like dark you know animated series from the sonic franchise soon or am i off my rocker we're not getting anything like that it's going to be another couple of years before we see anything of that caliber tell me everything that you guys are thinking in the comment section below because you know for a fact that i am always 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 going to be down there with you guys but with that yeah, it's about time to skedaddle along, so I'm going to go ahead and do just that. I would like to thank you guys ever so much for watching. I truly do hope you enjoyed. Do me the greatest favor of dropping a like and a comment, and consider subscribing for more content just like this here. And with that, gone so. Thanks again, hope you enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Do me the greatest favor of taking good-ass care, and I'll see you all next time.